Uh, thank you very much. OK, thank you. Thank you very much for your in introduction and very gratitude for the invitation of Velox. And but, um, at present, on uh, my school, uh, School of Architecture at Tsinghua University, uh, is now doing some co-researching with Velux on elementary education about the, the health of the uh, pupils. Uh, and, and so um, in, in the, today, I, I, I'm glad to, to show a case for, for that. Am I going? Which one? <laughs> Sorry. This one's forward and this one's backward. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, that's a project about, it's right in the middle of China. It's not in a developing region like Beijing, Shanghai, or the Shenzhen. Maybe you know that. Maybe the development of Beijing and Shanghai may be the same as Paris and any uh, megapolitans in the world, but still there are a much area left in China. Mm, and that spot, I mean, the site of all this project is one of them in the developing region in China. About the budget, uh, total budget is no more than, it's around 400 um, US dollar per square meter. So it, it's quite cheap. So w we just do something for, for the students there. It's for a middle school. It's a gym, a indoor playground. Or, um, we just, you can see the, the environment is something like that. It's a rural area, but the rural area here in China is different from the rural area in France or in any EU countries. It's just a kind of uh, developing, in the state of developing, you can see that. So we're trying to do something um, with very limited budget for that. Uh, that's the region. You can and also, that's uh, the site, just along the playground. And we have the, the indoor gym. We try to, to do something with daylight, because talking about something sustainable from my point of view, making full use of natural resources, including natural lighting, natural ventilation, definitely are huge parts of my design and research. So we try to do something. To, to have potential possibility for the daylighting. We have very, you know, elementary, very rough version of roof window. Definitely cannot compete with the quality of Velux, but we tried because we have got very limited budget, so we try to do something. A fixed roof window is not adjustable without sun shading. Definitely, we know sun shading is quite essential for daylighting against just in case for glare, but we do not have the actual money for that. We just fix it. But we, we try to do that because in China, usually the gym class or PE class, indoor PE class, um, is in the afternoon and late afternoon. So we try to put the roof window facing east, which means in the morning or noon, yes, there's some glare. In, in, inside, but in the afternoon, it's kind of just ambient inside, ambient light. So that's it. And definitely, it's, it seems we do something for, for the middle school. Uh, we try to do something because uh, we do the, the modification of the original landscaping. It's not landscaping, it's, it's a kind of very steep, st steep steps very narrow steep steps, we change it with landscaping, and we also add something for, for the students. Uh, toilets and also storage. Originally, they do not have toilets. If they want to go toilets, they have to go back um, 100 meters back to their classroom. So th that's, uh, that's it. Uh, most of the money, uh, actually, we just put most of the budget to the structure part because um, it is, it's for, for our team, we think it's very important, it's crucial to make the gym very safe. 
yeah, to, to keep it long time. And if something bad happened, like earthquake and other uh, catastrophic things, students can make it, can use that. So we put a lot of money on that. It goes together with the roof windows. So we, how can we deal with the glare? And the first strategy is about the orientation of the roof windows to the west, not to the east, just for the afternoon gym classes. And another is we, we're making full use of the, the walls outside of the building. So we got reflection instead of direct sunshine. So we can see that. So students can do there, can play basketball inside without glare. And also another kind of traditional Chinese thing is a kind of screen like this. Or with color. Color is something we, we, we very frequently use because if we got some some project, we want to do something interesting, we have to paint something because painting is one of the cheapest way to, to achieve something. Uh, so we just paint it. So you can see when, when students are with their physical education classes or basketball games, they do not worry about glare. Yeah, that, that's, that's all about details about design. And that's uh, sunscreen or whatever, just kind of sun shading system. It's, it's, it's not especially designed for sun shading, but just for design. And also the color, and also the color, but reflection. So natural lighting goes together with natural ventilation, yeah, because we all know overheating is kind of, you know, we, we try to avoid this kind of situation just with natural ventilation, no air conditioning, yeah, just uh, everything pure natural. Uh, students, uh, the after the accomplishment of this building, we just uh, we have already carried out some research on that to, to, to make it certain if our decision, I mean design decisions, are wrong or right. So we try to make it. So do this kind of survey. You can see it's quite, quite interesting, just uh, high above. That's in the morning. We, we know the glare, the song from east. Yes, it's, it's kind of over. But in the noon or afternoon, yes, that's okay. That's quite okay. No glare and no too much natural lighting. And also we just do the, the uniformity research. And also you can say just goes different time. Yeah, in the early, late morning and, and afternoon, we can say the distribution of daylighting. Yes, we do this kind of research. We can say, okay, almost no glare. Yeah, we, we, we got uh, the candle per square meters, and we got it. Yes, sunscreen is something just, uh, mm, yes, but it, it's still okay. It's just a hundred. It's not thousands. Yeah, that's for nitro ventilation with chimney effect, lower inlet, higher outlet and with temperature difference. So you have the natural ventilation. That's outlet. And also the color, talking about painting of color, we try to, to do something for, for the local people. We just do some kind of um, transformation of the typology of the site, just for fun. And also the brake works. Oh, that's a very easy, small project. We can see very clearly doors and the toilets for the playground and storage. And also that's a section. We're making full use of this part for the school, for the students. And that's for natural ventilation, outlet, just inlet, outlet, and also for natural lighting. 
Oh, that's all. Thank you.